Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to this video. Uh, before I proceed, I want to entirely thank the people who have supported me in today's journey. And um, to me, we had a successful uh, roadshow. But then, people are asking me, Kaka, can you give us an overview on what transpired today? where we are, and what next? Those are the three questions I am responding in this particular video. Now, the Kenya Kwanzaa had planned itself to counter Raila Odinga today by installing goons who started their protests very early in the morning in Nairobi. They destroyed property, they burnt down cash, in fact, I saw one of the Ugandan-bound trailer that youths invaded. And surprisingly, the police who were near that um, trailer walked away, leaving the youths vandalizing that uh, lorry. That made me think. They were UDA goons. Because if there was mere goons, police could have tear them. And the driver was recording that video crying for the police. Na police walikuwa natoroka tu wana muacha. And the youths just invaded that trailer as police just were strolling and walking away. They didn't tear gas them. They didn't arrest them. They did nothing. That was a big confirmation that yes, the goons who burnt down vehicles in Nairobi were allied to UDA. Can you watch this video in a minute? Ladies and gentlemen, videos don't lie. You saw this lorry being set ablaze. Now you saw what happened. Vijana walivamia gari and police innocently or deliberately, not innocently, deliberately walked away as the driver was shouting at them for help, but they couldn't even respond. You have seen them walking away leaving the young people, destroying and vandalizing the trailer. It's a sad situation. Away from that, today, Raila Odinga was resting. Mada Karua was resting. Wajakoya was resting. Kalonzo Msioka was resting. The entire Azmio principles, today, they just took a rest. The people who are in Nairobi are the members of parliament and the senators and other few leaders allied to Azimio. They did a march from parliament buildings to the office of the president. They wanted to deliver their petition, but then they were countered by the police who tiagasted them and just them away. These leaders did nothing. They bowed down. They went and rested a bit like some minutes. And then they started now a road show. It's, it was not Manda Mano. This was just a road show. They started a road show. And um, the police thought that in the road show, the principals were among the convo. So, Bungay sent 15 land cruisers that were following the convo. And this convo was entirely for members of parliament and the senators allied to Kenya, allied to Azimio. What surprised me is how this government is clueless 
on matters intelligence. Because if this government has intelligence that is true to them, intelligence could have told them that is not Raila Odinga, those are members of parliament, so that they don't bother destroying their tear gas for non issues. I Murengo, ilikuwa tu ni wabunge na kina nuru okanga na kina gaucho. Dio walikuwa kwa msafara. Na kina babo wino na kina upio wandai. Awa ndio walikuwa kwa msafara. Awa ndio watu, polisi wamepea tight security na 15 land cruisers. Wakifikiria ni Raila Odinga. Yani mbona intelligence haikuambia hawa watu. Raila hayuko kwa uwa mkotano. Raila alikuwa mahali fulani ya mepumuzika. Na watu wengine. Nao kaka. Raila Odinga today has scored big time. One. There was no cash flow. Much of the businesses in Nairobi were closed. Number two. Today. The biggest achievement for Raila Odinga. Is. Showing the world. That. Any property that was destroyed in Nairobi was destroyed by the Kenya Kwanza goons and not the Azmio goons. So, by Raila resting today and sending members of parliament to masquerade as him to do a road show so that the police thinks it's Raila Odinga, it was a score to Raila because. Even the International Criminal Court now has valid evidence that Raila Odinga is never the one who destroys property. Most of the the people you paid, hawa kufanya kazi leo, I'm sorry, pesa zenu zilienda west. Kwa nini? Walifanya kazi kidogo tu na ile kubwa ambayo ni ya kungoja Raila afike ndio waanze kuchoma ma supermarket ndio waanze kuchoma maduka ndio waanze kuchoma vitu zingine ndio waanze kurusha mawe ndio waanze kurusha mishare haikufanyika so please sorry for wasting your public resources today now the question you asked me kaka how can you rate today's events? I can rate them 98% score on the side of Azimio. Why? They have entirely achieved painting Kenya Kwanza as a government of goons. They have entirely succeeded. I'm waiting for the headlines tomorrow on the newspapers. I want, I'm waiting for them to see what they are writing tomorrow. It's clear and evident. Kenya Kwanza is a government of gonism. Yani gari na chomwa, na polisi wanatembea tu, hawafanyi kitu, and you tell us, that is Azimio. Lastly, what next after this? Now, the government has known, Raila Odinga is not a man who dances to your tune as you think. When Raila is planning this, you are planning towards him, he starts from this end. Nyinyi mukikuwa pale, munapata yeye, ameanzia hapa. That is who Raila Odinga is in this entire exercise. And let me tell you, mutachoka, na Raila Odinga Kenya Kwanza mutachoka sana. Mutachoka, mutakimbia kimbi kimbi na mutachoka. Nataka niambie polisi. Mutakimbia kimbi kimbi. Mutatoa maulimi nje. Mutachoka. Na hakuna kitu mutafanya kwa Raila Molo Dinga. What next? On Thursday, Mother Karua has announced a mother of all demos. Sasa tena tafuteni guns mlete. On Thursday. Wendeni beba. Leta tena guns. Walete kwa wingi. Pay them. Kazi yao they are eating. And I don't blame them because they were brought to be paid. Yes. Please eat as much as you can. 
Mulipewa free accommodation jana mukalala. Mulipewa free supper mukalala. Mulipewa free breakfast mukakunywa mukashiba. Tena mumelipwa leo. Nyinyi muko biashara. I don't blame you. I blamed I think in this Republic of Kenya. I agree with the Kanu Secretary General that yes, it's high time Kenya needs a leadership academy because the leaders in power do not understand themselves. They are speaking like kids. They are just spitting words like kids. Wana bweka bweka tu maneno. Moses sikuya alus mouthed. Ana bweka bweka tu kazi yake ni kubweka bweka tu. Mary Saint Domingue posted a fake photo today. A fake government full of lies and propaganda. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen. In all this, now the question comes, who gains and who loses? In all these things, the government loses and the opposition gains. Why? The government cannot run its businesses. The government is spending on demos. The government is busy with police officers in Nairobi. Revenue cannot flow. The economy has been crippled. The government loses as Azimio gains popularity. How I wish, how I wish someone could talk to William Ruto, but because their people don't listen, there's no way you can advise them. Now, unaacha tu waisikia kwa mwili. Just leave them. Just give them eyes. Wacha tu. Just wangalie tu. Wangalie tu. Wangalie tu. Ladies and gentlemen, tukutane siku ya Thursday in Nairobi tena na wakati niko maandamano wacha kunipigia simu. Wakati niko maandamano wacha kuni text. Na wakati niko maandamano wacha kuniita kwa comment section. Third time we are busy. Kumbuka our phones are being monitored by this regime. So whatever we are conversing might be monitored. So tafadhali, na nyinyi wafuazi wetu, especially my fans, tafadhali, tukiwa kazi ni kazi. Ukiona sijazungumza, there is a reason why. Ukiona sijakujibu, there is a reason why. Tafadhali, tuheshimiane ndio hii kazi ifanyike vizuri. Other time away from work, just call me I'll pick your call and we talk, right? But wakati tuko kazi Wacha ku, hata sisi we are scampering for safety third time. Unapata gari ya media imepiwa matia gazi na sisi tunakimbilia usalama wetu. Na wewe ndio unapiga simu. Ninachukua simu ama ninalinda vitu niko nazo kwa mkono sizipotee. So tafadhali understand uh, that work na hivyo kazi itaendelea vizuri. And please support this work. Support this work by all means possible. Unaweza tuma your bundles, unaweza tuma your lunch Unaweza tuma your supper, unaweza tuma maji if you want us to work well. Kwa sababu hata mimi ninatumia pesa kufanya kazi yote and I'm not paid by Azmio. Mimi naifanya because of passion, because of you people. So kama mnataka tufanye kazi vizuri, support it also. Those who supported today, I want to thank you so so much and God bless. You. If you want to support this work, namba ya pesa iko hapo chini. Just respond. God bless you. See you in the next video, ladies and gentlemen.